Hi, Dave Schroeder, back here with your UK Boxing Roundup on Weighing In with Travis Hartman. I've been back in the UK for the last couple of weeks um, and so had the opportunity to watch some fights in real time um, from the UK. And really over the last couple of weeks, the biggest fight that we had was Chris Billam Smith, friend of the show, uh, versus Richard Riakpour, which was a, a fight at Cruiserweight. They'd fought before um, and Riakpour had won. Uh, there was Billum Smith's done a lot better since then, and, and he's been working with with the McGuigans, and he's really eked out pretty much every everything he can out of his talent and ability. He's a really nice guy, a great guy, um, hard working, and the fight was pretty pretty hard watch. It wasn't the most exciting fight in the world, which some, sometimes happens with CBS fights. Um, Chris Billum Smith is not a knockout artist, um, but he did win quite easily. The scorecards were not anywhere near what they should be, but the right person won. That's the most important thing. Um, he won. I had it. I had him winning sort of nine rounds to three with a, with a point deduction for React Poor as well. Uh, but it was actually pretty close in the end. You know, if it wasn't for the point deduction, there was a card that would have been a draw. So he he won and and goes on to bigger and better things. He's a WBO world champion, I believe. So. Um, there's other fights out there for him. He's not the most exciting fighter in the world, but he is a good, honest pro. And he really is someone who deserves some, some big fights. On the undercard was someone called Ben Whittaker, who I've spoken about before. He's um, sort of like the reincarnation of Prince Nassim Hamid, dancing around. You would almost certainly have seen videos of him spinning around, lifting up his knee, throwing shots from everywhere. He uh, laboured to another points victory. Now... He's exciting to watch um, in terms of he's not very orthodox and he does some pretty fun things. But where he differs from Prince Nassim Hamid, for example, is that Prince Nassim Hamid could knock people out from any angle and Whitaker not so much. He doesn't seem to carry the power that's needed um, to put knock people out. He's had five knockouts in eight fights, but he's fighting in general. He's fighting, you know, tin cans really. Um, should be Should be doing a bit more. Um, I do think he probably needs a bit of a rest. They've been trotting him out every month, month on month, for the last six months. Um, but he is well thought of, well regarded, and, and I do recommend you look up some of the stuff he does. It's pretty fun, and it, it was a, a bit of a very different from the CBS um, Richard Riakpour fight. It was totally, totally different. Um, in terms of other news um, in the UK, obviously we've been waiting with bated breath to see whether or not AJ Daniel Dubois gets made. Um, I think that would be a really good fight, one I'd be really looking forward to see. I do think AJ probably wins it, but um, and probably wins it reasonably easily, but I think it would be a good fight. Dubois come on leaps and bounds, um, and certainly you know, his most recent win was, was really impressive. So I think that's really what we're, we're looking forward to next. Um, there's also some talk of Sandy Ryan, who... Um, we saw in Orlando get get robbed really in a draw. There's some talk of Sandy Ryan fighting Michaela Mayer, but I don't think that's going to be um, going to be signed off. I think there's there's some issues around purse split and, and guaranteed money. But Sandy Ryan, a good fighter, someone I, I've really enjoyed watching her career. So it'd be good to see that fight if that happened. Um, but I'll be keeping up to date with everything that's going on over in the UK. If you get a chance to look at the uh, Chris Billum Smith fight. It's probably worth 25, 30 minutes of your time, but it's not the most exciting fight in the world. But he goes on to bigger and better things. Not sure what's next for Riakpour, um, but hopefully we don't see Chris Billum Smith, Lawrence Acoli next, because that would be a dull fight. Have a good week. I'll see you all soon. Take care.